Ready to jam with Jamulus? Jamulus is a computer software that makes it possible for students to rehearse remotely. Jamulus is a program that is designed for high quality, low latency sound. CCSM has created virtual classrooms on the Jamulus platform that with the right participant setup, it allows us to play together remotely and in time. Please note that Jamulus is an audio only platform it does not currently support video. For video, participants will have to run a separate video conferencing program, such as Zoom, Skype, etc., with the mics on those programs disabled or muted. What you will need, the minimum requirements. One, a PC, desktop or laptop with either Windows 10, MacBook, iMac OS 10 El Capitan, version 10.11 or higher, or Linux recommended 1.5 gigahertz CPU frequency. Two, a wired internet connection, Ethernet only, as Jamulus will not work well with Wi-Fi due to the latency issues. You will need to connect your laptop with an Ethernet cable to the modem or router. Some laptops do not have this Ethernet port. In this case, you will need to purchase an adapter or dongle for your laptop, which you will then plug into your Wi-Fi router. 3. Wired headphones output. Not speakers, as these produce echo or feedback. Do not use Bluetooth, which increases latency. Apple earbuds with built-in mics work well, as well as USB gaming headsets, depending on the model. Headphones must have a 3.5 millimeter headphone plug. You will first need to install a sound card driver if you are using a Windows PC. The one we recommend is called ASIO for All. Simply go to www.asioforall.org. Select ASIO for All English. As you can see on the screen, we go to Downloads and find ASIO for All 2. Double click on that and go through the different steps to install. To install Jamulus, go onto your web browser and type in www.jamulus.io. Here you will find a big button at the top, Get Started Now. Click on that. Here is an outline of what you will need, a computer running either Windows 10, Mac OS, or Linux, a wired connection, and wired headphones, not speakers. There's some other information here on maximizing the quality and minimizing the delay, as delay is not good for when you are rehearsing with others. Once you click download, your web browser will take you to a new page. Just wait for a few seconds as your download will start shortly go through the different steps to install. Once you launch Jamulus, you will see this screen. To set your profile, start by going to the menu bar at the top of the window and selecting View, then My Profile. This will let you input your information so everyone else can identify you. You only need to set this once. Once completed, click Close or the X at the top of the window. Here is how to set up the ASIO input. Open up Jamulus Settings. If you have installed this driver, it should be listed in the top left device box. Select it as your device. If this is blank, this means you will need to install the driver. Click on the ASIO Setup button in Jamulus. A red X means that Jamulus cannot connect to that audio device. If you see them, quit Jamulus and open up ASIO on its own. Turn everything off except for that which is controlling your headphones and your microphone. If you have installed the driver and it does not show up, try restarting your PC. Once you have selected the correct device, make sure only the correct inputs, mic, and outputs, headphones, in its control panel are switched on. This tells Jamulus where to find audio and where to send the sound card so that it can be heard. Once it is set up correctly, close the advanced setting box and return to the settings window. We recommend that for starters, you click on the 5.33 milliseconds option. Please do not check enable small network buffers. To have this unchecked and to have only the 5.33 milliseconds and auto jitter buffer at the middle of the screen would be the most preferred settings to start you can experiment with other settings later on. This is to ensure that the audio quality is the best it can possibly be. 
Now, look at the right-hand side of the settings. Ensure that your audio channels are on mono in and stereo out. Click on normal for audio quality. Set the new client level to 50%. The skin refers to how your Jamulus windows appear. Right now it is set to fancy. You can change it to normal if you'd like. Enter CCSM's address here. For the custom central server address, unique to CCSM, please contact your private instructor. Now you can close the settings window. Click on connect at the lower left of the Jamulus window. This will bring up a new pop-up. At the upper left, you will see a list. Click on that list, and then navigate down to Custom. This will let you see CCSM's Jamulus rooms. Make sure that your group for rehearsals know which room to meet in. Click on one and connect. Please note that the personal mix on the right does not control the volume at which you are heard by others. This is only for you to hear. We recommend that if your audio is not coming through very well, too softly or too loudly on the other ends, that you go to your system preferences and control the audio levels of your microphone. In the control panel, click on hardware and sound. Click on sound and then navigate to your microphone. Click on it and press properties. Click on the levels tab. Here you can manage the levels of your microphone. Click on the advanced tab and here you can change the microphone settings to 48,000 Hz, preferred for Jamulus use. Status LEDs. We are looking for green delay and buffer LEDs for ideal streaming conditions. Yellow or red lights indicate that network streaming has too much delay or interruption. Adjustments to the jitter buffer, sound card buffer size, audio quality, etc. might be needed. If significant delays persist due to connection issues, we recommend that one person in the group turn on a metronome and everyone play to the metronome. Your input shows your microphone input levels. You should aim to have your input level reach about the middle of the bar. If it is hitting red, adjust the input levels either on your computer setting or on the mic if available. Mute myself. This cuts your audio stream to the server so that other musicians will not be able to hear you. Jamulus is an audio-only platform. In order to see other participants, connect with each other by video only, using other video conferencing programs such as Zoom, FaceTime, and Skype. Mute yourselves or do not connect audio on those other video conferencing programs. Ideally, the video conferencing will be run on a separate device that is not running the Jamulus audio feed and also preferably on wired internet. If you ever have any questions, please be sure to check back on this video just in case. Happy rehearsing!